My son, Junior, stand up. Uh, yeah. He does all our social media, so all the stuff you've been seeing, that, that's him. A hundred mil, I need it. The glory, I need it. I took L's, but walked around like I was undefeated. I, like I saw no results, I still woke up and chased it. They told me to find myself, instead I want to find a way. This is the scenes out in Boulder today. It's a little crazy out here. Look at the field. It's kind of wild, ain't it? Still, God is great, man. God is great. God is the greatest. Can't even see the mountains. We started this season out on belief. We started this journey out on belief. And I want to know, do you still believe? Because I can recall talking to you and looking at your eyes and, and, and seeing how you practice and seeing how you wanted it the first time we walked out there at TCU. And I want to make certain the same men are in this room. The same coaching staff is in this room. The same understanding, the same want, the same desire, the same feel, the same passion, the same purpose, the same kill instinct is in this room. Do you still believe? Do you still want it? Because you've gotten out there and you see where, where, you, where you're strong at, you see where you're weak at, you see where we're fast that you see where we're slow at you see where we're consistent we see where we're inconsistent at in life knowing all that do you still want it are you still willing to push yourselves to go the extra mile do you do you still believe the thing i was invited to the basketball game the other night and you're talking about the lakers versus the world champions and I don't just watch basketball, although basketball was my favorite sport, just watch it, to watch it, I watch it because I love it and I, I, I like the, the little things that's done, the picks and the rolls and the, and the post and, and, and the denying the ball and the defense, I love all that, the, the, the details of that stuff. And I notice one team, everybody on that team bought in to the role that they played. Mm -hmm. Sure, the Joker is the Joker. Everyone knows he's one of the best, arguably the best player in the NBA. But everyone else around that played a significant role. And they understood their role. And they accepted their role. And they played it like no other. So if Braun won, won hot, or the big fella, uh, AD won hot, or, or uh, the other kid uh, that, that, that plays it and, and shoots, uh, and he's a pretty good shooter for the Lakers, if he won on, then the other team, Lakers didn't have a chance because they was playing against a team that accepted and performed and played their roles on both sides of the floor. And they was coached there. Oh my God, it seemed like every play they ran worked because they exhorted all options. What's your role? Do you play it? Are you so caught up and want to be the guy that you can't even understand your role? You so caught up and want the ball that you can't understand your responsibility. You so desire to be the man that you don't understand you could be amongst men and still be great. What's your role? And are you willing to play it? Because time is of the essence. And I hate to say we're running out of it for the football part of it, but for life, you're not. You got time. But what you gonna do with your life? Because the main thing that you put all your marbles in is taken away. And what you gonna do with your time? I want you to go out there and do what you're capable of doing and try to exceed that because you got it. I believe, that's why I wore this shirt today, I still believe in you. Coach, you believe in them? Absolutely, sir. Or we wouldn't be here. We're here because we believe in you. We coach you because we, we want you to do it. And you know why we get frustrated and we get upset with you? Because it's in you, but you won't let it out you. You won't squeeze it because that was whatever squeeze What's up inside comes out, and you won't even squeeze. You won't put pressure on yourself. You won't, you won't drive. You won't go the extra mile to get it out of you. 
And then you're making excuses. You're making excuses. You're making excuses. You're blaming somebody else for your shortcomings. You're blaming somebody else for your inconsistencies. You're blaming somebody else for you not getting the opportunity. And every one of you in here have gotten the opportunity. If not, all you got to do is work. One thing that I can recognize on the practice field really good is hard work. And I will reward hard work. I don't give a dirt if you have to go on the darn kickoff team, kickoff return. I don't give a dirt if you're the holder on the extra point of field goal. I'm going to find a way to get you on the field if you're working hard. But if you're hardly working, I'm going to find a way to get you off the football field. You understand this? Do you still believe? If you do, let's not act like it in practice. Any motivation for today? Do you. That's the motivation, man. A lot of people out here faking. They don't want to be themselves. So be you. Be yourself. Amen. Any motivation? I love motivation. Uh, accept criticism. Challenge yourself to be the best version of yourself. Don't get in your feelings when you're so negative. I heard you and Coach Brown were cool. <laughs> <laughs> I saw y'all sitting at lunch with each other yesterday. I was taking Chris's. Pasadena in three days, headed to the Rose Bowl. The granddaddy of them all. The granddaddy of them. Granddaddy of them all, baby. Yes, oh, 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 oh. They say Coach T standing on business, on the field and off the field. What did he say that? He said he was running them. Look at his old highlights. Put in the video. Coach T old highlights? Uh huh. I thought y'all thought he was unathletic. He was just running that bit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to be athletic to run the ball. On Saturday for you, if you end up wearing that one, What's wrong with it? What's wrong with your fat ass helmet? I'm doing a little down here. Hit the helmet as hard as you can. Yeah, let me headbutt him. Yeah. Take it to LA, right? Take it to LA, Jimmy Jam. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna take our show to LA. We're gonna let them know. At an all-time high. <laughs> you like we gotta put this on and all that we did at the fair to show the opulence of this. Hey, reach the pool. Reed, Reed, take your time with it. What time? Just follow. Just follow up. Well, I didn't know this song. I know the song, but I can't say it. I told him I sang the parts he can't. Put that shit back in the CCR. We got you. Hey, fellas, 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 fellas. Fellas, we going one ver ones versus twos today. Quiet, quiet. Ones versus twos today. We gonna work hard. Let's work with the same intensity that you want to play the game with. Let's approach practice like it's a game today. All right, so the coaches, I want you guys on them. You got to get on them, get on them, get on them, get on them, get on them. Get on them. All right, challenge them to go to the next level. You guys challenge each other to go to the next level and hold each other accountable. Hold each other accountable today. If we're not getting to the ball, we're not retracing and getting downfield linemen, we're going to blow the whistle, we're going to start the refs over. We got that? Yes, sir. We're going to have a great day today. Today we're going to win. 
Let's win today, all right? Break it down on 2-3. I love man 2-3. Come on, baby. Yeah. Hi, guys. How you doing? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Compete today. Compete today. Compete on three. One, two, three. Compete. They said your highlights. He was running. Oh, I, was, I was running folks over, man. I ain't gonna lie. I was either look. I was gonna attack your left shoulder, right shoulder. Or I was gonna run through your face mask. Can you send me the highlights so I can put it on the screen? Ooh, I think I got some clips. Alright, appreciate it. I, I got it. some clips. We'll do. Let's go. Let's go. Somebody head off on this great Thursday, my boy. Great Thursday. Great Thursday. They all gonna do that. They are. They are. They gonna do that. But I'm saying it should be the same thing. I'm taking that step too. Good catch. That's your stuff. You see it. Look. perfect we can be today, right? I mean, how aggressive you can be in attacking the field, route running, right? Ball's in the air, it's our ball, right? Making plays on the ball, okay? Let's go to work. Let's finish this thing up. Let's have, let's, let's leave the field today with tremendous confidence, right? With tremendous confidence. And knowing that we've done what it takes to prepare to go win. Sorry. You get used to it though. At least you got the sun on. Put him on my the mouth. <laughs> Man, my teeth look better. Like the cartoon version. Hey, Amen. No, that's hard. That's not a fair catch. Good ball. Right, you get this back. Every way you wave him off, that's waving your teammates off. Yeah. What I gotta do? I'm saying if you wave him off like this, that's dead. Yeah. You can do this. If you wave, you say, it's almost like fair catching in the way I think. Great focus, okay? Here we go. Hey. I'm good. I'm good. Everybody's welcome to the weight room. You know, that's part of our staff. Health and wellness is an important part of life. We promote it. When you doing the strength coach only fans? Let me get one of them sweet blues. Appreciate you, Ken, folks. 
Yeah, that was whoa. No, that was whoa. You need to start whoa in your woadies. That's what you need to start doing. Whoa. Bro. All right, something wrong with him. That's our key word right now. Hey, you won't tell him what you said, though. You won't tell him what you said, though. Say it out loud. Say what you said first.